Last summer, before COVID-19 wreaked havoc with our lives, I had the opportunity to attend a Shabbat weekend led by Rabbi Ron Isaacs. It was up at Camp Ramah. And he talked a lot about gratitude and explained that one of the reasons many observant Jews try to say a hundred blessings a day is so they have the opportunity to reflect on all the things they're grateful for. I found that idea really intriguing. So I committed for one week to notice and thank God for a hundred things I'm grateful for each day. It's not so easy. I noticed obvious things like my family and my health and small things like getting out of bed, the shining sun, the taste of chocolate, a phone call from a friend. And at the end of the week, I was astonished at how it changed my perspective on the world and on my life. I'm a much happier person today than I was before and starting that gratitude practice was really an inflection point for me. Six months later came COVID-19. I leaned in hard to my gratitude practice, made a conscious effort each day to focus on the small things for which I'm grateful, my garden, a weekly pre-Shabbat Zoom with my friends so we can light candles together, the ability to breathe. I am grateful for the time to do things that would have been impossible in my pre-COVID-19 life, like starting each day with a cup of coffee and the newspaper in my garden, the time to make challah each week, and spending time with my teenage daughter every day. While COVID-19 has negatively impacted virtually every aspect of our lives, the blessing I have gained is time. Time to reflect, time to be grateful, and to reconnect with the things that are most important in my life and give me joy.